The first teaser trailer for Rambo Last Blood has dropped. I'm a huge Stallone fan, so let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Sean and I love to talk about movies way too much. With that in mind, go and share your thoughts on the trailer down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or are you somewhere in between? After this video, if you're a fan of the Rambo series, you can see my ranking of the previous four movies right up there. If you're wondering why I didn't do a normal trailer reaction, it's because it's a Lionsgate film and they are notorious for fraudulent copyright claims and strikes against any videos on YouTube that use footage from their films. Therefore, I don't use footage in my movie reviews, my rankings, or um, do trailer reactions for Lionsgate films because they will could damage my channel if I were to do so. With that said, let's get started talking about the trailer and I, I was a huge fan of this trailer. I uh, totally dug it. It's always great to see this character again, where he's at in life and it kind of situating him as this guy that's trying to get away from his past, from the killing, all of that stuff and then getting swept back up into the action. And what I very much appreciated about what they did here is that the last three Rambo films have been, somebody gets captured, someone is in prison, Rambo goes in and brings them out. The last three have been that, whether it's Vietnam POWs, uh, the Colonel, or uh, our Christian missionary lady in the last one. In this one, that's not what the trailer is at all. There have been rumors, speculation, someone's kidnapped by the cartels and he goes in to get, rescue them, but that's not what this trailer showed at all. This trailer doesn't really indicate what triggers the cartel, but I mean, it goes home alone at his place. It's got him battling them on their trip. It's all this stuff that does not look like him sneaking into a place and coming back out. Likewise, uh, two of the last three movies were in a jungle setting. So we've seen a lot of that. This wasn't that. We haven't seen him like, in urban settings. We haven't seen him in, his ho in a home. So there's a bunch of things about it where we're seeing him in a very different environment. And as I've said many times before in some of my videos, one of the reasons that like this Rocky fellow right here is one of my favorite movie characters is we've spent so much time with him over 40 years. And likewise, we've spent 35 years with Rambo now. And he's not as deep of a character. They haven't explored nearly as much with him. But still the idea of this aging Vietnam vet it, that just keeps getting pulled back into war. It's always compelling. It looks like the vi violence is probably gonna be just as, not probably not as graphic as we went with the last film, but I'm getting looks pretty brutal with where they're going with things, different environments, his skill set being used once again, and um, as it's called Last Blood, uh, probably glowing out in a blaze of glory here. So it's one, I was, I was pumped for it before seeing the trailer. It delivered what I wanted to see and that it's a different tale for the character with him on his home turf as well as, I mean, well, obviously he's going somewhere in, in the adventure inside of the film, but uh, yeah, I totally dug it. Uh, tell me your thoughts down below. Check out my ranking of the other Rambo movies right over there. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.